You can now drop your image into GPT-4 and it can recognize what it is and you can chat about it. This is the most realistic game that I've ever seen. An AI generated song by Drake got over 600,000 streams, but then Spotify took it down. Adobe just launched video editing with AI. What if you can use virtual reality glasses interface with GPT-4? Take a look at this insane AI video. Elon Musk may sue OpenAI because they have illegally trained their model on Twitter data. You can now drop your image into GPT-4 and it can recognize what it is and you can chat about it. So I'm just gonna take this image of a cute puppy into this model called Mini GPT-4 and I'm just gonna click on upload and start chat. What is this image? And now it's writing, this image is a black and white puppy wearing a Santa hat sitting in a sled with a basket of Christmas decorations on it. What is the type of dog? The type of dog in the image is a black and white puppy. So yeah, didn't get the breed there, I guess I need to say. Can you tell me the dog breed? The dog breed in the image is not specified. It appears to be a mixed breed puppy. Okay, cool that it got actually a mixed breed. I mean, I couldn't tell what it was. For example, he uploaded this image here and said, we designed new mugs shown in the image. Can you help us write an advertisement? And it just does it. Here it says a joke website, content of joke one, punchline one, write brief HTML slash JS to turn this mock-up into a colorful website where the jokes are replaced by a real joke. And it writes the code for you. Here you can see an image of a concert and describe this image as detailed as possible. And it describes it. There's like so many different examples that you could do with this. I just wonder how long until people just start uploading dick pics. And the AI is like, you should get that checked out. You may believe that this is GoPro footage, but it's actually the most realistic game that I've ever seen. So this game is showing off Unreal Engine 5's capabilities of looking hyper realistic. It's called Unrecord and it's able to get been wishlisted on Steam. The main criticism it has is that it's literally too realistic and that we should be heavily moderating the shooter games for anybody that's under a certain age. And a lot of people are very uncomfortable with this. So Trainwreck on Twitter says, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but this level of realism in video games should be heavily moderated in shooters for anyone under a certain age. I hope parents do their job. This level of realism for shooting and killing makes me feel uncomfortable as if I'm watching a real leak from a military or police operation. The clear distinction between real and fake is necessary, but this level of realism, in my opinion, gives real credibility to the nonsense politicians have been spewing for years about video games conditioning young people to lose sense of empathy towards violent tendencies or situations. There's a big difference between the video games that you can just shoot a person in the head and they're just like laying on the floor. But imagine it becomes so real you can't differentiate where a guy is on the floor gasping for air while you stab him with a knife and the audio and the visuals are 100% real. That will obviously program the brain to say, this is fine. And not only that, but you get a kill score that says, hey, you're doing great. Personally, I don't believe that this is realistic enough. For us to come to that level, we need to put on the VR headset and we need to be running physically. So we still have a ways to go. Elon Musk may sue OpenAI because they have illegally trained their model on Twitter data. Twitter Daily posted news Microsoft drops Twitter from its advertising platform as they refuse to pay Twitter's API fees and Elon Musk replied they trained illegally using Twitter data lawsuit time. First the open letter, then truth GPT, now this, the AI wars have just begun. Reddit wants to get paid for helping teach big AI systems saying that 
data isn't free. Companies like Google and OpenAI have been using it in their AI projects. The Reddit corpus of data is really valuable, Steve Huffman, founder and chief executive of Reddit, said in an interview, but we don't need to give all of that value to some of the largest companies in the world for free. They're mentioning Shutterstock, the image hosting service who sold image data to OpenAI. More than any other place on the internet, Reddit is a home for authentic conversation. There is a lot of stuff on the site that you would only ever say in therapy or AA or never at all. Crawling Reddit, generating value and not returning any of that value to our users is something we have a problem with. It's a good time for us to tighten things up. They demand that the stolen data be returned in the form of dank memes. And one upvote per stolen data. An AI-generated song by Drake and The Weeknd got over 600,000 streams on Spotify, but then Spotify took it down. So the song was pulled from streaming services by Universal Music Group after going viral over The Weeknd. Hard on my sleeve for infringing content created with generative AI. It had racked up over 600,000 Spotify streams, 15 million TikTok views and 275,000 YouTube views. UMG urged streaming platforms to block AI companies from accessing the label's songs. And the music industry is now beginning to mobilize against the perceived threat of fake songs. The Recording Industry Association of America warned that AI companies were violating copyrights by using music to train their machines. That use is unauthorized and infringes our members' rights by making unauthorized copies of our members' works. Last month, the Entertainment Industry Coalition published a series of seven core principles regarding the relationship between AI and music. This is Drake's second shuffle with an AI-generated song this week. On Friday, he addressed a version of breakout US rapper Ice Spice's song Munch that featured a fake verse by him. This is the final straw, Drake said in an Instagram story. I can't wait for Drake's new release, Don't Steal My Voice, bro. And we don't know if it's AI-generated. Take a look at this insane AI video. This guy transformed a real person that was dancing to an animation using stable diffusion and multi-control net. This is by far one of the craziest AI generations that I've seen. And it's way different because it doesn't flicker, it doesn't warp as much as I've seen before, and it actually looks really good. This reminds me a lot about what Corridor Digital did with their rock, paper, scissors video, where they essentially get a lot of the same results. The creator here has an instruction of he using four control nets controls to co control the scene, to make it look smooth, have the background be fixed, and that he used a very good file to do this. There are also multiple different ways to do this, including the rock, paper, scissors from Corridor Crew. They've actually made a full video on that as well as more stable diffusion ways to turn video into anime. I'll leave the links to the description down below. Just can't help but say what a time to be alive. Adobe just launched video editing with AI. You can now generate logos and titles on the fly. You can generate AI music and sound and color grade with only text. You can see bright, adventurous, cheerful music. And I can't play the music in the background because of copyright. You can also find sound effects based on the context of the video itself. And it seems like it's leveling it. Change it to a cool morning. Change it to a golden hour. Beautiful. Brighten the face. This is huge, by the way. This takes a lot of time like to rotoscope out the face and then actually change it. But if you can do this with just text, that would be insane. Here you can see that they're analyzing the transcript and they're actually adding captions for you and text. Now, this is the crazy ex example that I have here, 3D Molten Iron, and it literally creates a 3D render of Molten Iron text. 
Have you seen anything that crazy? Now, this one is, yeah, again, I, I mean, I would love to get access to this. There is a climber here that has B-roll and they're putting B-roll footage into the text while she is talking. This, to me, for example, is a huge time-saving task that takes a lot. You just have to cut the ends and the beginnings and there's a lot of things that goes into it. If this actually works like they're advertising here, I'd be shocked. Now here you can see you can import a script and it will generate a storyboard for you. Look at this. This is actual drawings from Firefly, the Adobe AI image generation that they have. And now not only that, you can make a pre-whiz that turns this into a 3D animated movie. Just look at this. Click on play. Wow. How crazy is that? I can't wait to get my hands on this. What if you can use virtual reality glasses interface with GPT-4 and build a 3D knowledge map? Well, that's exactly what this guy is trying to do. And you can see here, what is AGI question mark? And it starts writing it and it also expands upon his knowledge map. Do we have to worry about AI destroying humanity? And just like that, it builds on the knowledge map here. And you can see it's kind of like a mind map, but just in 3D space. And hold on one second because it's going to get even crazier. What is generative AI and how does it work? How will AI impact the job market? And just like that, you're building a large space of a lot of things that you might be interested in. Now, he's just holding out his hand minimizing it and look at this you can look at it in 3d space and go to wherever your mind is wondering this is huge and for me for example as a very curious person that loves learning i would love to click look at this click on the values to me this literally looks like the future i'm getting so many ideas of how i would use this we just hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube and for that, thank you. If you're watching this right now, I'm really grateful and your comments down below are so funny sometimes and some of it is very controversial as well. I just want to let you know that for me, I value being honest and transparent. I value your time and I value finding the best in AI. I don't really care about getting a million followers. This is what I love. I love finding these cool things happening AI and I'm so grateful I'm able to do that and share it with you. And apparently you guys are really loving it. So I'm extremely grateful for that. There's so many exciting plans for the future of this channel and the community. So follow along the journey and let's do this together. All right. Peace.